What's up guys? So about a week ago I put out a video called The Benefits of Rooting and it looks like a lot of you took that plunge and started to root your devices. I started getting a lot of different PMs and a lot of you were questioning should I root my phone because I'm not going to be able to get over the air updates. So today I'm going to show you how you can still get over the air updates and if for whatever reason you lose root, I'll show you guys how you can get that back. So let's get started. So here on my Nexus 7, I have not received my 4.2.2 update. So as you can see, I am still running 4.2.1. So we need to go ahead and take care of that. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Play Store and download OTA Root Keeper. This application is free, which is really nice. So go ahead and install. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and load it. Now the first thing we need to do is push on that protect root uh, button right there and that basically saves a copy of super user. Once you do that, all we need to do is push on temp unroot. Very simple, as you can see right there, temp unroot. We're temporarily unrooting the device and that's basically it. Now we need to go back to the settings and go to about tablet and push on system updates. You should now be able to download the latest version of Android on your device. Now this is going to depend on the device that you're running. If you're running a stock Android or if you have, um, let's say a Galaxy S3 TouchWiz, um, basically it now allows you to download the latest version because you're now unrooted. Now whenever you're doing a system update, make sure that you are patient as this can take several minutes. And to make sure that everything was successfully updated, go ahead and go back to your settings. In my case, you'll see that now I am running Android 4.2.2, so everything went fine. Now, of course, because we temporarily unrooted, no root applications should work, or if for whatever reason I lost root, um, this is the way to get it back. So go ahead and load Voodoo OTA Root Keeper, push on Restore Root, and that's it. Now, when we go ahead and try that rooted application, in this case, Titanium Backup, you will see now that we have root access. So it was that simple and there's really nothing to it than just that. So what did you guys think of the app? Hopefully I was able to answer all of your guys' questions. Did you guys like the video? Make sure you give it a thumbs up and share this with all of your friends and family. Also, did you guys root your phone after you saw the video? Let me know, leave your comments down below. Also, make sure to follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. I will also leave those links down below. And thanks again for watching guys. Until next time, adios.